Just stop. You guys just walk. And you guys talk. Hey, sir, I got to keep going, sir. Stop, walk, and talk. That's the positive approach that JP Torres Alternative School is teaching students that are most prone to bullying others to do. In fact, Principal Mary Meek says they are reinforcing what the students learned in the last two weeks with a competition that spawns skits, dances, and even songs, all thought of by its high school and middle school students. The competition was even judged by the superintendent, the speaker's office, and other key officials. She calls it proactive intervention. It gives them the opportunity, again, to, to really know how others feel both ways, being bullied and a bullier. And um, with this, hopefully they can take it out and, um, you know, to handle whatever it is that comes their way. So is there funding to promote more anti-bullying campaigns in the schools? You can bet your bottom dollar. Federal Programs Administrator Ike Santos says over $100,000 in federal dollars from fiscal year 2009 are allocated for programs specifically for student behavior, programs like anti-bullying and play by the rules. There has been and continues to be collaboration in addressing uh, the anti-bullying uh, situation here uh, on Guam in our public schools. In addition, once we get a word from USDOE, uh, a million, 1.7 million has been, um, will be set aside to address specifically uh, the anti-bullying as well as preventive programs. Proud of what the students accomplished so far, coordinator Lisa Ortiz also tells them they will be performing again soon. You guys are going to be called again to be doing this in front of other people. And that came from the people from downtown. They want you to show your stuff to the other schools. Okay, so be proud of yourselves. You did a great job. One of the multi-talented groups that performed for the Pacific News Center was Track 1. Team leaders Kylan Doris, Kiana Evangelista, and Jamie Lynn Menel say it took about two to three weeks to put together and give some advice on what to do in a bullying situation. There's a lot of bullying out there and we have to like find something out to speak out to the community and stuff. So our, our, our Miss Ortiz helped us work out a skit and then we just worked, did our thing. I guess we're trying hard to like to like stop it and stuff. Just stop, walk and talk when you're getting bullied. It's what number one thing to do. And if that weren't enough, the College Access Challenge Grant Program from the Guam Community College is also contributing to the school's proactive anti-bullying campaign. Program coordinator Milia Afaisin says their life skills workshops teaches students, teachers, faculty, staff, and even parents what it means to be a bully, as well as preventative measures and ways to help out peers. When we first started coming down to JP Torres, uh, many of the students were very skeptical, uh, had the real hard, um, hard front, and after a while coming down here several times, offering many different workshops and, and teaching them different things, we've given them the hope that um, although they've made certain mistakes in their lives, it's never too late to correct it and um, achieve their goals and their dreams, and that's what we're here for. Josh Tikenko, PNC News.